Tang. Rister stop a rebound and but say and he scores! And some Penguin history with an assist for Chris Letang. Indeed. He becomes the all-time leader in Penguin history in points among defensemen. He surpasses the Hall of Famer, Paul Coffey. Yeah, it's crazy. I've been here my whole career. I play with great players and get my name next to Paul Coffey. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I thought it was pretty incredible just the way he skated and he was skating like that every shift. I was just watching him fly. And here flies Paul Coffey. I always told myself if I could be able to skate like that, it would be a big plus. Drops it back, Coffey looking, shot, score! Oh, Gary, what a milestone in the National Hockey League. It's spectacular stuff. It really is. It's not just the points, it's his strength. He absorbs so many minutes as a leader. The importance of a support system can't be overstated. There are times when one needs to lean on an entire community, and days when one simply needs a distraction. But most days, thankfully, the love from family, a man's best friend, is all one needs. My name's Stella, and I'm a tiny golden doodle. Had her eight years, you know, she's a good dog. It's like my kid, I'd say. All she likes to have is treats and snacks and crap like that. Only eats human food. Yeah, she's spoiled, right? I'm a hockey player, and obviously I hate this shit, so uh, I'm different uh, around the boys and stuff with my buddies. Yeah. You always hang out with the boys, right? You know, on the road, I usually go to dinner with the same couple guys, pretty close with the Haggy and Horny, and I don't know, everyone. Like I said, I get along with most of the guys, right? I don't watch a ton of hockey, to tell you the truth, but I, I mean, I watch all the other sports. I love football, you know, you do all the fantasy stuff, and I love college football, right? I grew up in Madison, and the Gophers are my squad, but we're always decent, never really good at football, but one of these years will be better. There's always good times and bad times for the year, and see how it goes. I think we should be competitive and be right there. I love playing the game, so I, I don't know what else I would do if I wasn't playing. I still enjoy it, and uh, you know, I have fun every day. Come here. We gotta take a picture. Where do you wanna go? Hey, it's okay, I know. How we looking? Good girl. Good girl. Hi! Yeah, I know. Come on, Stella. Come on, let's go. Look, Stella, look. All right, perfect. All done, Stella. Yeah, I know. Great to have you with us, everybody. We are underway. Third game of the season. Kessel on the face up. It scores! Bill Kessel! Well, that's what the doctor ordered right there. Lead pass. Great one to Kessel. Breakaway chance. Coming to the net. Shoots the puck and he scores! He beats Subban on the club hand side. Start trying the jumbo homer. Extra crispy, please. Bill Kessel with his second goal. Off the near boards, grabbed by Carl Hagman. A big pass for Kessel, chance on a breakaway. For a chance, he gets it and he gets the hat trick. Fill the thrill, lights the lamp, tickles the twine, puts the biscuit in the basket, and I'm talking top cheese, baby. Right where mama keeps the peanut butter. Nice guy, tries hard, loves the game. Phil Kessel with the HD tonight. A lot of good games, Casey. Great job on there, Rico. Congrats on your first game, but I leave five. Whoa, oh, yeah. yeah. There you go, eh? As the Penguins were settling into the season, the Dumoulins were setting into their new home. We've been here for two or three weeks now. We thought it was a cool idea that we could build kind of our dream home, and yeah, we love it so far. The PPG workers were awesome. They were amazing. We were here checking out their work pretty often, and anything we asked of them, they would do, and they did a good job of helping us out and kind of creating our own color scheme that we wanted to stick to. It's easy on the eyes. Right after we got married, we were excited for 
this next step and chapter in our lives and moving into a new home and that was our goal. It's definitely a nice place to call home. Yeah, this is my honey hole over here. Everything on the wall is pretty good. Some of them are pretty old, that will be special. Like a lot of the wine that I collect too has been from great dinners. So I mean, the thing with wine, it pairs so well with food and I love food, so it's the only drinkable art, you know? I love that he, this is his hobby because <laughs> I get to enjoy it as well. Arush she's two years old. She loves the couch more than us. Yeah. This is her territory right here. Look at her, just she's so excited. Oh, she brought a toy. <laughs> oh my gosh. She likes meat, anything meat. Like anytime I bring home food after a game or... She's always sitting right at his feet. <laughs> uh, she's never had a bad meal from me, so... <laughs> kind of take this time to get home and to rest up, but it should be a great season and it's been good so far. Obviously, with Schultz going down the decor, we're gonna need some guys to step up and I know guys in the locker room are capable of it, so it's gonna be fun to watch that and I think we're all pretty anxious to start getting into the thick of things. Good start, good start, come on, give us some energy, let's go. Go, oh, that cuts towards the net, it's stopped by this man. Back in front, off the post, damn! Yeah. You put it perfect, yeah, it just kept going, yeah, like, yeah. didn't slow down. Two, two! Gensel on the right side with Crosby going. Gensel shoot, he scores! We're gonna go weak side, so I might widen out a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Nice board pass left side, do him on Saturday's stick. Go, 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 go! The Canucks have scored as Ben Hutton finds the buck. Breeze by the stick of Tim Schaller, and gets rubbed out by Brian Dudley. Penalty coming up against Pittsburgh. Sharp right angle drive by Sutter, he scored! One of those games, baby, one of those games. Look at these guys just sitting back. It's the league is now, Everyone's doing that. We're gonna get one here, we're gonna get one. Ben Hunt gave it away to Evgeny Malkin. The lead pass is a two on one for Pittsburgh. Kessel with Haglin. Kessel for Haglin. He scores! One second left. And we're going to overtime. Besser weaves his way into the Penguins end. He's got a tough shot. He scores on the rep shot from the left point circle. And the Canucks have won this game 34 seconds in. The 12-day road trip began with a highly anticipated meeting in Toronto. And another episode of the Scoop podcast coming your way right now. We have Chris Letang and Hockey Hall of Famer Paul Coffey, former Penguin, current Penguin, to talk Penguins. Do you remember the first time you guys met and interacted? I think the first time was in the box at Mario. I was injured. I took a picture because I was excited also. Obviously, Paul was an idol of mine. Watching him skate was the ultimate thing, so. I actually had to find him because my wife my wife had a crush on him, so every time I went to Pittsburgh, it was like, get a picture with Latang, get a picture with Latang. So the first time I saw him play, and I was up in the old igloo up in the press box, and we're sitting there watching the game, and I went, who's that 58 out there? I still remember. He kind of picked the puck up, and he made your cut and great play and just compete, and I said, who's that 58? He goes, that's Chris Latang. I said, where'd you get him? Got him in the draft. I said, that's a good player. The most important thing for me, I love the game, and I love the guys that played before me, and I respect everybody that played before me. And I found that with Chris, and I couldn't be any happier. It's surreal. It's like even have my name next to him. It's special. Everything he says, and I keep it, and I try to execute it, and try to bring it with me. It's all things that I can learn from. You know, I play with arguably the two greatest players of all time in Wayne and Mario. So, you know, you got Gino and you got Sid, two unbelievable great players in their own right. And they can be easy to play with or hard to play with. But when you're the top on the power play or you're the general out there, so to speak, you've got to be in control. You've got to take a little bit more of a leadership role back there, get that puck to the net. Because if the puck comes from you to Sid, you take a shot, Kessel puts in a rebound, everybody's happy. He has the time to talk to me give me like different tips just shows how, how much a great person Paul is also so he was a great player but even a better person. Mutual admiration between hockey players is nothing new. Being mentored by your idol is a little more unique. Chris Letang took to the ice hoping to heed the advice of Paul Coffey against the Maple Leafs. Good energy here gang, good energy. We like one. 
Casper going to work. And getting Malkin sharp in the try. He scores! Oh, Gino, Gino, Gino. Gardner, one time. Watch the rebound. Murray able to keep it out of the top of the crease. Making it look easy right now. The Penguins defenseman have done a really good job of getting on their horse to get to the loose puck. Rust in the neutral zone for Malkin, a right wing feed for Latang. Latang over the blue line, throws one towards the net and scores! And there it is, career goal 100 for Chris Latang to give them a 3 0 win and improve the Penguins to 3 1 and 2 on this young season. Road trips in the NHL serve many purposes. And sometimes what happens away from the rink is just as important as what happens on it. This was one of those trips. As the Penguins had a rare four days off on the road to explore the countryside and the rinks in the Canadian Rockies. Playing four games in 12 days, that's a long time to be on the road and it was really cool the experience that we had going to Banff, Alberta. I mean, that's a place I probably would never get to in my life and it was really cool to experience that. A big group of us hiked up to the peak of one of the mountains and it was just breathtaking. It's good for the team, especially early on in the year. A couple of new faces on the team. It's not something you see every day and something I suggest everybody has to experience. out there, huh? You're flying. Hey, I'm a mirror to boost your companies. One motion. That's it. That's a good shot. That's it. That's it, Brad. That's it. That's it. Wicker D. Wicker D. Good job. Good job. Do you want to bet something on this? Hey. Tell me, cocky. I'd rather not lose my confidence. Yep, yeah, boy. <laughs> Game over. It felt kind of weird having a long time between games there. And at that point in the trip, we kind of all just wanted to get back out there on the ice and start getting into a rhythm. I think we're all pretty anxious. We knew we were starting to play well and come together. There he is, a beauty. Watch out, we're coming. Yeah, 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 get to me, get to me. Go, go, Chris, go, Chris. Castle to the middle for Latang. Fires with a flex, it's going. Nice play, boys. Cindy Crosby. Yes, Ed, nice pass. Ah. Hey, how fast is that guy? Right in front of Tan, Swordquist, he scores! God! What happened, boy? He's got his first goal of the season. I got my luck back. That's your push, guys, that's all. Let's get it back, let's get it back. Oh my God. From the ladies' team. Lucic throws Regal into the ice. A hero! Oh, what a collision that was. Set it up, set it up, boy. Sharpman will stop a stop by Talbot. Big rebound, Alexiak shoots and scores! 5-5 score here against the Edmonton Oilers. This should be a pretty entertaining overtime coming up here at Rogers Place. This is it! Spins off in the far corner, Crosby tries to get around a man, does, cuts in on goal on the backhand, and he scores! Unbelievable yeah. effort from Sidney Crosby! Oh my god! Well done, Ed. Oh, <laughs> In the midst of every NHL season, there are moments that serve as reminders. Whether it's the importance of team bonding or the brilliance of an individual player, this road trip had both, including the 700th consecutive game played by Phil Kessel, the ninth longest streak in NHL history. 
to draw the dot. Goes back for it. And a by Murray! Crosby cutting him on the backhand. A sharp angle shot. He scores! Oh, 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 oh sick! That was one of the best games that we played. Everything was going right for us. We were supporting one another, and you see some of the goals that were scored. All five guys taking part in it, and you can see we we're starting to build some momentum from that game. Latang up the middle, a chance. Kessler's got a breakaway. Out of the box, in on goal. He scores! Phil Kessel making it look easy. I don't think any of us go into a game expecting to win by that margin. They're not easy to explain. But certainly, if you've been associated with the NHL for any length of time, you've been on both sides of those types of games. Nine on the board for Pittsburgh. Before I take any questions, I just wanted to say on behalf of the Penguins organization, we just wanted to ex express our condolences and our thoughts and prayers go out to the, to the, the families uh, of the tragedy in Pittsburgh uh, that took place today. This is a national story happening right in our backyard, and a story that certainly uh, we could not possibly imagine would unfold on this uh, Saturday morning in the city of Pittsburgh. It's obviously a hockey game here tonight in Vancouver, but our hearts are heavy over 2,000 miles away from the city of Pittsburgh. Everyone here obviously had their eyes on the news this morning and following along, and you know, sometimes a distraction is a good thing. Maybe some people can pull away from the sadness and enjoy a hockey game for the next couple of hours. To have it in a place where you live and to a city that you're very fond of and you're a part of, it's tough and we got to try to give the city something to root for in a tough time. If we put in a good effort, that's the least we could do for them. Let's get in there, eh? Snipe one? Can't wait. Gensel, Crosby breaking down the middle, all the way across Crosby, on the backhander, he's gone! Gotta be moving. Gotta be moving. Oh. Adam. Doesn't happen often, but I f***ing had a beat. Sprung to the top of the circle. Now the Vulcan. He scores! Machine, that guy. One more Gino. One more Gino. He's got Hagel here, two on two. Castle to Vulcan. Dangles it. Shoots and scores! A clean sweep of the Canadian road trip, and this one tonight, just a little bit more special. This one is for Pittsburgh, boys. The one way I think we could try to help is through an inspired effort. I thought we had it in Vancouver. It was a very emotional game for all of us, and I truly believe that our players were trying to inspire a city. aftermath of the tragic events that happened in our area this week. The Pens return home tonight, like all of us here, with a heavy heart. I just want to say we are strong people, and we will assist and console all of these affected, and we will be there for you. I think we need a lot of energy, okay? Let's have a spirited effort, all right? Let's have a good night. The Penguins players, coaching staff, and ownership now ask you to join us in a moment of silence. 11 seconds in honor of the 11 lives that were lost. Shalom. We came out of the game pretty strong, but it's just the fact that we capitalized on every little mistake we made. Here we go, boys, here we go. When you look at the group that we have right now, we have a mature group. Really, the focus or the priority is about winning championships. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good start. And the question everyone asks themselves is what can I do to help that cause? The Penguins have won four straight on the road, Borky, and they'll look to keep that going tonight against an Islanders team that's only playing their fourth home game this season. Go, this way, this way, this way. Heads up, heads up, heads up. Jake Gensel darting on in, got it on goal, kick that rebound, score! Yeah! Right. Good job, Don. Good job. Hold it there. Hold it there. Deep. Short hand it's Bailey. Coming in on the forehand. Deep shoots. Scores. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in the game. We have a playoff battle. Let's get it together. 
Port Quist. Passes forward just out of the reach of Sheehan. Sheehan's in all by himself with a rolling punt. Made that difficult. It's like one of those games where it's like always, almost, you know? Nicky in the far circle, centering pass, side of the net, they score! Right here. Nice. Over to Kessel. Latang. Ball good winds and fires. He scores! All right. We are set for overtime here at Barclays Center. Crosby's going to have a chance at a breakaway. Sidney Crosby home free. Game on his tape. He's in a diamond play. So we will head to the shootout into the near circle. On the forehand, cuts to the backhand and scores. Latang 1 on 1 against Thomas Grice. Stopped by Grice, and the Islanders prevail in a shootout. When we were in Western Canada, it seemed like everything was clicking, everything was going the right way, and we came home, and it kind of went away. Gives it to him, and put a back end shot, what a goal by Marlow. In that moment, I mean, it's tough. It's easy to be a good teammate when you're winning, but, I mean, who's going to be there when you're losing and things are tough? Patrick Anderson on the Maple Leafs. They're going to post a shutout here in Pittsburgh tonight. It's supposed to be hard, and I believe the Stanley Cup is the hardest trophy to win in all sports. This is just part of the process. Taylor Hall, the Boyle, one time shot, he scores! And a hat trick for Brian Boyle. You gotta be there for each other, and we're just a big family here, and it doesn't happen overnight. You gotta build off one shift, one goal, one power play, and then go from there. The Pittsburgh Penguins return home, looking for a win in any way, currently in the midst of a five game losing streak. They scored 23 goals in their four-game win streak. Since then, they have scored just seven goals. He pushed in here. We'll get it. We'll get it. Sends up next. Crosby darting on in. He's with a back there. He scores! Stay with it here. Come on, let's just work for the next one now. Pullen with Rust. Back in front. Off the chance. Off the post. Let's just stay within ourselves and play the game the right way, all right? Confidence can be fleeting in this game. He's had the perfect road trip. Things were really clicking. Well, they need something. Jim, would you describe yourself as a patient GM? Depends when you ask me. I'm usually very patient, but my patience are running out. Hey, yes, sir.